Yo, raffle ticket kind of like looking thing. What's happening, y'all? <clears throat> What's happening, y'all? Uh, the Misbelief Radio Show. <laughs> Finna go live in just a few minutes. That's my baby Oshun and the homie Malik. Baby, my mom. That's the beautiful man, Brian. Where the hell is Morton Bass Bradford? Now we know that uh, Jay Steele, the fat girl, is uh, on set somewhere. Martin, is Martin on set somewhere? I thought he rapped. Jay, has, he, he rapped, so he should be here. Mastermind is over there in the booth, if you see him. That's him right there. And then that is Ms. Megan Braden Perry, the writer of Crescent City Snow. So apparently it's snow. And by the way, share this video, because other people are going to see how much fun we're having. I promise. I promise we're going to have some fun. Raheem Glaspie is going to sing in Studio 1230, a live performance. And we got shit to talk about. Damn it. So share this video. Still got about 60 more seconds. I'm going to get this. There's actually no more karaoke. Hold up. Everything is great. What did they fix this? Everything's working. What's up, Brandon? What's up, David and Jim? What's going on, peoples? Wayne, DK, Toby, Monte, Cynthia, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll come on in the room. Can you hear? Don't show me different. What's up, Brandon? Yo, question. What do the dude in the club be pointing at when you guys... The sky. What are you pointing at in the club? Where are you pointing? I don't know, Malik. Get with it. Get with it. If you guys have any cool things that you're doing. See, I have on my Wakanda outfit because I missed <laughs> last weekend's show. <laughs> if y'all have any cool things that you're doing and you want to be on our wonderful show. Yeah. Let us know. Go to the Miss Police Facebook page. You can inbox us. Let us know if you want to be on this cool ass show promoting your cool ass products or your cool ass CDs or songs or any of that. Hit us up. We have availability. Happy to one year to us. One year. Ooh. All right, kids, we're about to go on. But uh, computer one is down, so there's no promo. Yeah, no. no space to stay. I don't know okay. that works. Thank we'll you. Are you guys ready? Yeah, Tune ready. in. Right now. All right. <laughs> And that was the word. 260-9265. 504-260-9265. Holler at us. Call or request a song if you want. A song? What's up, Mecca? Yeah, only by local artists, though. Share this video, too. What's up, Jordan? Two times. What's up, D? <coughs> Get some water. I'm all talked out, y'all. I know. All right, here we go, y'all. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there it is. I've been in my lowest before to tell you the truth. Not a pot to piss in, old window to throw it through. Broken shattered glass. Hey, I say what's happening. What's happening, yo? Welcome to the Misbelief Radio Show. You're listening live on WBOK AM 1230. Or you're listening on <laughs> WBOK1230AM.com. Or... <laughs> You're listening on the WBOK app. <laughs> or, or you're watching us on my Facebook Live video. Or, or you listen to the podcast available on iTunes and at dumbmisbelief.podbean.com. Or, or you're watching us on YouTube because we as millennials are all around these creative multimedia platforms. By the way, my name is DC Paul. I'm the millennial Arsenio with no material on Vimeo. Slim waist, baby face, deep voice, and the number one choice. For everything. Yep, I said it. And um, as always, I keep a colorful cast of creative, cool kids cruising with me as my co host. Uh, we're a little slim today, but I like it. <laughs> Who's this to my right side? Hi, everyone. It's the ghetto Maya Angelou herself. <laughs> the project Ian Levin. Wow, I like it. <laughs> the cool lady on the water, Miss Oshun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're upgrading our, our uh, taglines. 
That's cool. What's up, Bush? How you feeling, Mama? I feel great. Good. Yeah. You look great. You look great. I think, y'all. Yeah. Who is this to my left side? Yo, this is Malik, the historical geek. And I will be hopping a fence sometime soon near you if you got the misbelief. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I All thought it was about to get. I didn't know where it was going. He put the bare white voice on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So get sexual oh, this I, I think, I think it's, it, it's, it's the bats, Mike. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. so. Yeah. Our homie, uh, Mr. Bats, that actor guy, hopefully he on his way. Um, he, he's... he's <laughs> He's one of the people that believe that <laughs> punctuality is a, is a, a European construct. <laughs> he is in Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and who's that in the booth? Cool Slayer! Cool Slayer! Really? Do like Monique did. What's their name, sugar? <laughs> <laughs> Say their name. Monique. person is not black. <laughs> yeah, man, they too. <laughs> I think people just like uh, being contrarians and just, you know, you look good. You dress very elaborately in that, that three-piece. He looks amazing. Yeah. We <laughs> did that to her, man. We <laughs> did that. Um, <laughs> I mean, she ain't left somebody out the, you know, raid corporate event, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say anything. So. <laughs> it was working. I'm going to do something where I, I want to hold everybody accountable. Everybody ain't, ain't here right now, so I'm, I'm going to start with you. Mastermind, I'm hold you accountable. Uh, so you um, created a, a product, um, very dope. Can I go into detail? Is it too soon? These dope ass T-shirts. Um, if you're from the city, you gonna identify with at least one of these T-shirts. I mean, listen to me. If you're from the city, you gonna identify with at least one of these T-shirts. They dope. Um, currently, my favorite shirt that I own right now is, is one of these. What's the update with this product? We're putting it out. You did. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with Kevin T. Griffin of Producer. Ah. Mm-hmm. Very productive. He's a plug for every single thing in the world. And just yesterday, I put out a deposit to get a mass of t-shirts printed. A mass? We are in the money, so you guys know you're seeing my products. Okay, I look forward to that. Nice, nice. nice. Okay, I look forward to that. All right. Uh, Malik. Yeah. I'm going to hold you accountable. What's up with this website, man? No yeah. Nola Tours? Actually, um, me and a web developer did meet a week ago, and um, we got some things situated. Um, it should be dropping in March. It should be dropping okay. in March. Next uh, okay. and, and DC just threw a wrench in my whole plans with it at his week lounge. Oh, my <laughs> week lounge. oh yeah. He, he posted us about somebody's website. I went, and I was like, man. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my web um, developer and be like, I want this. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you guys, if y'all have only been listening on Saturday nights, uh, I, the Misbelieve expanded to a, a weekday lounge here on WBOK. So from 7 to 8 p.m., um, I, I've been in studio with uh, an interesting guest. Uh, I did Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with a guest. Thursday, uh, somebody else had a show instead. But Friday, I just played local music. But I've been having some really great guests. And I believe on Wednesday, um, guest Serena Johnson, um, who was a yes. chef, That's Serena chef. Johnson, yes. Johnson, who uh, was a chop champion. She came in, and uh, her website is banana everything. Banana. And, yeah. Yeah. and right now, she's cooking at Liberty Kitchen. That's right now. Oh, she sure is. Yeah. So at Liberty's Kitchen, she's doing, she's recreating uh, the dish that she won on Chopped with. Uh, don't you watch Chopped? Yes. Remember the one she did with the, uh, I wish I could pronounce all of these things. <laughs> 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 anyway, man, if you're looking for something to do, get in your car driving, go to Liberty's Kitchen right now. Check out Chef Serena Johnson. Save us a place, Serena. Baby. Yeah, man. She probably, <laughs> Please. Oh, oh, I hope she sell out, to be honest with you. Um, Oshun. I don't have anything for you to hold me accountable for. I was trying to think of something. Exactly. Because uh, you know why? Because I'm a completer. Well, you were a completer? Malik came and saw me at work the other day. I was working so hard. I didn't have time to stop. 
I'm joking. You I, have goals. I mean, time so and I sure I heard you dropping a self help book. Who <laughs> told you all that? It's <laughs> about you, Angela. <laughs> some, of, some of those goals. I heard you talk about buying a home, but I'm like, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. The gentrifiers. You, you have to. You better sell your first born to buy a house. They gonna ask you for blood, kidney, your grandma. You gonna have to. If so you, you want to buy no a house, goals, I should hold you accountable. If you want to buy a house in New Orleans, it's like joining the Illuminati. Who you gonna really? sacrifice to come? Wow, out? I thought you had more more insight than that. I thought you was really looking. I am really looking. Oh, she was all there for somebody to sacrifice. No. Oh. Oh wait. <laughs> hold on, no, because my grandma's sick. I don't want to. No, I don't think I'm trying to. Mm -mm. So, is there auction properties that you could? You can, but with auction properties, it's hard to get a, a first time loan for okay. them. So if you can get a bank to loan you the money, you don't know how much you're actually going to need for the auction property. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you can go to the bank and say, can you give me this, this, and this, and I can go and buy the auction house. You would have to have the plug already. Okay, so right. then what? You got to have some goals that I can hold you accountable for. Um, I try to wake up every morning and say affirmations and be nice to people. Please, you was not nice to me earlier. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? I was to my scalp grease. And I was like, that's not in my schedule today. It's in your schedule every Saturday to grease my scalp. You know what? I want to bring more awareness to black women. Though, I want to bring more awareness to black men to support black women. That's, that's hold me accountable today. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I, I, I got you on that one. Because he supports me not. I do support you. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what it is that you, that you need me to uh, hold you accountable on. I told you. I got it. Because I'm like a, my business. Like the me. black woman I am. <laughs> I have it. That's cool, Trust man. the plus. That's cool. Well, we got a really good show plan for you guys that are listening and you guys that are watching. If you're watching, do share this video because we're going to have a lot of fun behind the scenes. Raheem Glaspie is here. He's going to do an interview here. Um, on the, on air, I'm gonna play his song on air. But while his song is playing on air, it's gonna perform live on my Facebook Live right there in Studio 12:30. It's gonna be great. We love Raheem. We yes. definitely love Raheem. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and after Raheem perform, I will be doing a karaoke version. <laughs> 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 and his performance, Ooh, yeah, all over the studio. So. Yeah. But before Raheem performs, we got Megan Brayton Perry, the author of Crescent City Snow. You know, snowball season just started. I know, Hanson and Hanson's open, but we'll talk about that. Is it, is it officially started or is it just a couple of them? Did, did you say Hanson's? That's not the name of the people. Yeah, I mean, like, but I only mess with one snowball stand in the city. Well, we're going to say it that conversation. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. And then my homie Martin Dad's breath with that actor guy just walked his ass up in the studio right on. Hey, you got baby bags. bags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get these? I've been with a little grease. You know, yeah. grandma oil? I've been holding everybody accountable, Ben, for uh, things that I, I, I know that they, they said they was, they was going to do. Yeah. Uh, so let me see. What's up with the, uh, the, the editing for our web series? Now, what's, what's the update on that one? Coming with the rawness, the lawness, <laughs> and the swagger king. It's the only Martin that you need for the 2018. Yeah. It's that actor guy in the building. You, know? you look yeah. like a whole new person. Man, that's what they did to me on that set, you baby. Shouts out to T.D. Dana Boisseau. I saw that. You heard I me? I saw that. So she was the, the hair. And Bro, her person. squad is legit. They got you with the genuine baby bangs. They got you with the genuine baby bangs. <laughs> you hear me? I'm looking all me to fired up. You heard me? Yeah, man, so you was on set for something. You don't something. Have, you don't you hear me? Yeah, y'all have to tell us. Not just yet, but dude. But I just got to give her so much props because she was like on set feeling like the heart of the set. Everybody couldn't help but go, man, I love that lady. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm trying to hold you accountable, though. But Miss Bo Miss Boisseau. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the edits are coming. We got a, series, a web series called, out called Wannabes that we get into. You feel me? We got to do some more shooting. We got the first three episodes shot. The editing is almost done. We got to do a few little technical things. But episode one should be coming next month. Sure. Next okay. month? Episode one? Okay. Next one. Now hold on. Definitely, definitely next month. Next month. Episode is this a web episode? Or? Uh, web, web series. series. Web series. Starring D.C. Paul, Raheem Glassby, and Joseph Pines. Yeah, it's called Wannabes. No one is naked, right? Man, <laughs> it's funny that you said that. Ask, ask Raheem Glassby about that later. We, we'll talk about whether anyone is expressing yeah, nudity we, in this we can't current. I promise you that nobody's gonna be naked, man. Uh, we're trying to help the fact that they say there's not there's not enough male, you know, nudity, nudity? in film and television is and that media. What we're trying to do? Yeah. Equal <laughs> <laughs> opportunity. Actors just like to be naked on camera a lot, and that's just what we were doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right on the other side of the glass and don't come for me. Before we go to break, let me hold you accountable for something. Are you resting? Are resting? you taking care of yourself? 
No, as a matter of fact, he is. Believe, he always takes care of himself. <laughs> <laughs> after, the, after the misbelief radio show tonight, I'll be heading over to Crescent City Boxing Gym to host the Throwdown with Take Him Down. That's from 9 to 1 a.m. And there's going to be a lot of people performing, like Raheem Glassbee, C Freedom, Icon, and so many other uh, people that we, we love in the city. Um, and then in the morning, I got Blazing Worship. So that means so, no. So no, I'm not resting. Oh, okay. But I never said so, I was on rest. So, you, so that's oh, not what you hold me accountable for. I'm holding you accountable for the same. You were going to, exactly. You were Thing you want to take more time to get your Okay, well, honestly, here's one of my goals. I'm going to hold myself accountable for. I have I've been having this idea for this uh, uh, video project um, called Hashtag Bernice, and uh, it's, a, it's a comedy video project. I had this idea for like two, <laughs> two years okay, now. Um, hashtag Bernice. Um, in fact, I had uh, Carol Sutton agree to, uh, to play Bernice. Um, in the skits that I knew. And Carol Sutton, by the way, if y'all don't know, is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Amazing actress, actor yeah. in the city. She's the one. It's legendary. Uh, I think so, DC, since we're holding people accountable, what's up with this ponytail, brother? <laughs> 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 okay. 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 We've been working on this for almost a year. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. Like I said earlier, we have a great show for you guys. Raheem Glass is going to perform live, but first, Megan Braden Perry is going to talk to us about her put Crescent City Snow and the snowball stands in the city in general. She's the leading expert on where to get your best cold drink or your best iced, you know what, your best snowball. We're trying to, I'm trying to use a vocabulary, but I really ain't got one at the moment. So, mastermind. What you got queued up? Oh. oh, I only want you. I like that song. All right, well, this is uh, the Miss Believe Radio Show. And listen, when it's coming at you real hard in the face, try your hardest not to get nothing on you. Shout out to all of our <laughs> Facebook viewers, Orange, JT, no, Andre, so Andre Miss so Pretty like Jade, Rachel, Crystal. <laughs> so we had Thank y'all for oh tuning in. I'm good. You okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So FYI, Ooh, we, we, me and yourself, just want to somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. But and there's a lot of traffic. I need a great like, job ASAP. Of... It's happening ASAP. Oh my God, we do we had to go around circles because I couldn't stop for parking. So it was like so you making it happen, like slowing down at some point. It's like you could tap and nigga rigging. You better go home. Straight home. It was on. Let's bring some cuteness to our viewers. Let's bring some cuteness to you guys. Hey, Internet, I'm just checking on stuff. We're going to bring some entirely cuteness to you. All right, Facebook Live, get ready to be adorned. Get it. <laughs> it's a dance party. And here's the cuteness, I promise. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the cuteness. Say hi! Say hi! We have a little misbelief in the house. Yeah. <laughs> He's hiding! He's hiding! So cute. Hold on. Oh, what's up, Beth? What's up, y'all? Questions? Talking about the misbelief. Somebody had a question? Yes. How do I get off that? Do you know? No. Let me see. Okay. Sure. Let's, oh no, we don't want to do that. Hey, what's happening with this cake up in here? Let's have some. That's my birthday cake. You're welcome to it. Your birthday cake? Yeah. yeah. His my, birthday my been on. Geneva Joy checked what I wanted for my birthday way back in December. How you guys? We're having technical. She just got time. I'm trying to end. I don't want to invite anybody. So how do I finish? Cancel, cancel. Um, Oshun, do you cancel. want me to sit by you or <laughs> Megan nice. sit by you? Oh, hey y'all. What's up? Yes. I'm trying to knives. work this. What a knife. Oh, in my purse. In you my got purse. Knives in your purse. Okay. Yeah. I have knives in my purse. Okay, please. With no DSL. Oh, I have these too. It's the great glass getting ready. You can't stay here. You gotta come. You know what I Let's do all the things that a great glass will do. I'll go Roger. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Franklin, I don't want to leave. I'm sorry. I don't want to leave. All right, Facebook viewers, I'm going to take over the account. This is Beautiful Brian. I'm usually holding the camera, but now you're going to get a chance to see me. How y'all doing? Um, usually I don't get to say much, so I'm going to say something right now. And uh, we are in February. I'm trying to find my light. Going into March. I know here in New Orleans, you know, these um, 
first two months are jam-packed with activities, you know, from New Year's to um, Mardi Gras, Valentine's Day, we had a freeze. So I just want to encourage everyone, if you had a goal coming into 2018, if there's something that you wanted to happen this year, something that you're working on and you're a little off track, it's okay. We all kind of off track, so um, it's okay. It's okay. Have a good time, but, you know, going into March, let's get it back going on, you know? Oh, we got somebody over there. We got who's that Pines? Alpha Joe. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Joe? We, uh, you got some encouraging words for the people? You know, the first two months of the year is kind of hard. I don't have any encouraging words, <laughs> but I do have an encouraging gesture. Yes. Luke and Celia gave to Sophia, mm. which she saw at the store. Hold up a second, brother. <laughs> uh, she said, <laughs> and that's the encouraging uh, gesture I want to give to the people. All right, now we can come on in, Malik, brother. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dude, the love right here. Oh, yeah. Brother, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I, I really, I just, I, I'm sorry. My, that's my elder and my mentor, Malik. Uh, <laughs> Without you of no little tours, follow him, sing story in every way you can. But I also just fist pumped him in the chest because he didn't. I didn't want him to take my life. <laughs> it was my time to give y'all my encouraging words. That's right. And I feel like uh, he came in at the wrong time and shedding his life, which was a beautiful life, but it wasn't my life. I needed my life. You know, my life, my life, my life, my life. And the sunshine. <laughs> I don't know how to make the thing come back. So guys, if you're talking to us right now, we currently can't see your messages, but leave them. We'll get back to you. So leave us a message, okay? But be inspired to continue to pursue whatever it is that you're trying to pursue in 2018. Keep doing it. It's for you, and nobody can stop you. And that's your beautiful world from beautiful Brian. All right. Let's get back to. What's up, man? You have more water bottles? No, I just bought these from the store. Do you want some money to go get a couple more before they close? Nah, you gotta run my sales. Can I get some more? Give me five, man. Give me five. Oh, five. Look, you want to get five? Give me five. Oh, two's left. Oh, oh, oh. Why is it so fast? Ah, you got it. You got it. You got it. So fast, Kim. I'm good with kids. That works for every kid every time. Oh, wow. Every kid of almost every age to get to like eight. You are good with kids. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> except for my own. She, she's a little special, y'all. Oh, she, she was in dance class, and while everybody was doing their little lay down and stretching, she was rolling around on her knees. Yeah, that <laughs> that's that only child syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> she gets too much attention. Then she got to take it off from everybody. Yes. But it's not worry, because I'm from the uh, old school of acting. Right. So I will break her. Oh. <laughs> I will break her. Oh, what would I be Will you turn the air conditioner off? I just touched nothing. Oh, nice. Franklin? Excuse me, what? Yeah. Oh, that's a pain. I mean, you don't feel bad too, though, so it's okay, because we changed it. Look, share this video, if only because that's Franklin is cute. That's not my water. Your water. Come on. That's the best reason to share it. Franklin, say hi. Franklin, the cutie pie. Aw, you look cute, Franklin. Hey. Franklin, can you say don't get nothing on you? Oh, Franklin, Franklin, say don't get nothing on you. That page. Let me be okay. Twelve thirty a.m. Excuse me. Let me push you up just a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. You good? It was good. It was right on time. Hold your tongue. What's up with this ponytail? My friend, you're ready. Yeah. It was her philanthropy. Oh, you so happy. And we're back. We're back, y'all. Welcome back to the Miss Believe Radio Show. Listening live on WBOK AM 1230. Um, I'm DC Paul, the millennial arsenal. <laughs> and um, as always, my cast is colorful, creative, Are you happy? and colorful. Uh, who's this to my right side? That's mine. Hi, everyone. It's the one and only 
queen of comedy. Monique about to call it. Monique about to call it. Because you know what, well, brother? Netflix will offer you even less. <laughs> and I will take it and get up there and go, <laughs> why did the chicken cross the road? Who's <laughs> it to my left side? It's that actor guy, Mr. Bat. Spell it, Mr. Out, if you want to get it right. Don't get none on you. Hashtag bib life. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Uh, welcome welcome back to uh, Not Hollywood No More. Yeah, man. I'm going to hate my job in the morning. See, yeah. this, is, Monday. this is what I go through. Everybody, this is what I go through. Who are you? Yeah, this is Malik. <laughs> I give tours. I take for I was wait. I didn't even get to you yet. I don't know, dog. No, you, you was just a voice that just started talking. So hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know they left me for Wakanda. <laughs> They like, I, I was the killmonger of this group. <laughs> they left me, and I was in New Orleans, and they was in Wakanda. <laughs> Who is that to, uh, next to Bats? Yo, I, <laughs> I take care of those. No dollar tours, rules of photography, in the streets near you. In the streets. And he's reclaiming his in time. Like, yes, yes, like, yes, you wouldn't even let me get to him, man. It's hilarious. Damn, man. Who that is in the booth? Cool, Flea! Okay, we love that word, man. Yep. That word is the, the first voice you hear on this Misbelief Radio show. Uh, he's basically a member. But this here is our first interview guest on this episode of the Misbelief Radio Show. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Megan Braden Perry. Uh -huh. Hi. Clap all around, clap Hi. all around. What up, Megan? And then, no, I okay, and then I was just in the ass with Mr. Franklin. Say hello, Franklin. Say hello. 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 Say what do you call it? It's a little, little orange uh, little things. Mm -hmm. You eat them and they used to come on the trees. I mean, they still come on the trees. Mm -hmm. But I used to um, I eat I'm... those and pecans from behind my papa's brother's office. Are y'all called the misbelief? Yeah, oh yes indeed. You New Orleans for real. Mm -hmm. yeah. She, yeah. She's so, so New Orleans. And where where was the office? <laughs> um, it was on Nugget Alves, right off of um, Elysian Fields. Okay, but actually, Gal um, was in Elysian Fields. Huh? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Well, welcome. Hi, Franklin. I'm glad to have you. You know, you know what's funny? You can hold the bottom, okay? I thought yeah. for sure we'd had you on the show before. I think the the air went out one day. It was like last year the air went out or something because uh, yourself was like you were supposed to come and we didn't. Okay, yeah. I was like we had Megan already, didn't we? But no, okay. welcome. I have a copy of your book, Fresh City Snow. Franklin, Franklin. Uh, congratulations on the book, by the way. That was last year, but I I love this book. You actually did sincere research on it, like visiting all of the spots, taking your own pictures. People was even stealing your pictures, so I heard. Baby, don't even get me started. No. Nope. Mm. <laughs> don't eat. I'm like, mm. you don't want to? Me mad. I mean, no, you can get me started. Mm -hmm. You can get me started if you want no, to. No, no, no. I won't talk about the book. All right. Okay, good. And so, <laughs> the ultimate guide to New Orleans snowball stands. We don't get to talk about it. But the ultimate guide to New Orleans snowball stands. Um, what inspired you to write this book? Um, uh, well, I, I don't know. I guess I just love snowballs. And then you know how it is when friends come in town. And they'll say, oh, where do I go to, you know, get a good sunball? And I'll say, oh, uh, you know, and you never know. Yeah. So you always go to the same place. Exactly. So you always go to the same, you always go to the same places. Go, go by TV Shoom. Uh, so you always go to the same places, but I wanted it there. That way you can, like, not forget about places. So it's 50 in there, 50 stands. 50 uh, different flavors. Are those all the, the, wait, 50 different flavors? 50 different flavors. You didn't get the same flavor at any two nope. stands, really? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Um, is it, were there any snowball stands that you left out in the city? Yeah, oh yeah, there were a few. Oh, well, there was one that I didn't like because they made the girls bad. But they closed now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was Buku Juice. And they, I don't know. Um, that was Buku Juice. And they, I didn't like them at all. And they, they charge a lot of money. They don't have any sugar, but they're closed now. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that was a lot of money. Did you feel conflicted in picking a favorite in this, with this book? Well, the thing, aha, I never picked a favorite. Yeah. Yeah. No, you didn't give everybody a great review, though. Well, you didn't give everybody the same great, great review. Yeah, that's true. Like, I, I, but if they suck, I didn't say anything. Right. Yeah. 
So who was your favorite? Uh, my favorite is always Rodney's in the East. Okay. Yeah, because they're good. They open your round. They got the good nachos. No, I do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> they open your round. They got the fire nachos. They got good flavors. And here's the fun part. You, you're not allowed to tip. Yeah, and like, and so here's another fun part. That he's got like a ton of cameras all around, so you could like try to tip, and they'd be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you cannot tip at all. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's, well, he pays them nice, so they got people who you know they go there from college and you know. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> First of all, I want to say that you're my hero as a snowball enthusiast myself. Mm -hmm. I want to ask a question that's very dear to the misbelief radio show heart. Yes. Which side got the best snowballs, East Bank or West Bank? Oh, Ooh. please. Uh, well, my favorite stand is on the East Bank, but the West Bank got a whole lot of fire snowballs, I'm not going to lie. Mm, like they got a lot of good stands. I know they had snowballs on that side. Yeah, yeah and it's, they have a ton. That's, you know, it's funny. It, it, I wanted to um do thirty or thirty one, boy. Uh, I want to do. Okay, you do it. Um, I wanted to do thirty or thirty one different stands, but they had so many on the West Bank, and he's he's gone. He's gone wild out. Um, so they had so many on the West Bank, boy. I'm a, okay. So I don't want the child protective services coming for us. So you know they're watching. Um, but yeah, so um, so they had so many in the West Bank. I had to add more. I had to make it fifty because yeah. they had so many. They got a bears and, they, and a bears. They got a Jamaican oh man snowball, which is what? yeah. The and Jamaican I don't know what Jamaican snowball. man tastes. Jamaican man. Jamaican man. Yeah, and it tastes kind of like it's orange. It's, it's in there. A bears. Um, a like 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 the letter A yeah. and then bear. Uh, um, <laughs> so if I uh, Buck Snow Whiz is so good. They have seafood potatoes. They right next door to a seafood place. I'm sorry. And they got a drive through. I can't get over it. Yeah. 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 West yeah. Jamaican man snowballs just don't sound good. I, I, I feel like the flavor of Jamaican man is just not what it don't sound <laughs> Well, I, 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 I've come to notice, like with me, like when I go to snowball stands, I always look for the weirdest name. And yeah. like, so you said Jamaican man's made me go like that might be good because if it's the weirdest name, right. I go for it first because I kind of already know the strawberry and the cherry is great most likely. What kind of forever? <laughs> 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 like, but like I'll be interested in you know Jamaican, Jamaican man. Jamaican man is uh, so good. Really? I mean, Dora Malaysia booty or whatever. What did, you, <laughs> what did you think about? Uh, I, I saw you went to Snola. Oh yeah. Did, um, uh, you had the, uh, stuff. Yeah, um, people like them, um, and they're, they're nice people, and, and, they're, and they're brown, so, so I like that they're brown. You're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, look at the panda. What panda's doing? Um, oh my gosh, what's panda's so, doing? Thank you. I love whoever did this. <laughs> Massimai got a question, but you need your headphones oh. to hear it. Oh, 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 oh. Holy moly. All right. Oh, we got two holy moly. Holy moly. Okay, you press the moves. I'm listening. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, mm, threw me off like in a bad way. Where I was like, both. Oh, oh. Whenever they have questions, it's both. Both. Okay. Um. Well, you know, a lot of the West Bank people, they they got the pickle. Like the West Bank got the pickle on lock, which sounds all kinds of ways. Like in the snowball. Um. Yeah. yeah so they they got the snowball. Yeah. They put a pickle. In my hands. Uh, they West put Bank. a pickle inside <laughs> the snowball, and it's like they got pickle juice. No. And it's, it's people like it. No. It's What's not wrong my with thing. those people? They're on the West Bank. I get West it. Bank. There you go. Exactly. Oh, West Bank. I bet yeah. you the West Bank got natural cheese snowball too. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Okay, so that and that good, was that's the bad one. That was amongst the, 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 yeah, the that weirdest. Yeah, that's a, a weird one. Uh -huh. Um, oh, but you know who got a fire one? But it's um, it's not in town. It, well. Piety Street snowballs, they closed, and they were really, really good, but they closed. But they used to have, like, a, um, a lemongrass basil that was really good, and they had all kinds of really delicious flavors. My type of hype. Um, and then there's a place on the North Shore called Just Chillin', and they make their own ice cream. There's some of stuff, they make their own ice cream, and it's, like, a whole menu. <coughs> and I like when they, you know how you go to, like, a cocktail bar, you got the fancy cocktail menu, like, that's what I want. I don't want to make those decisions. I just want to go and be like, I want that. Right. And so they have this one over there. It's so good. It's, what the heck is it called? It's called the Honeysuckle, I think it is. And it's like, yeah, Honeysuckle. It's a nectar snowball stuffed with honeycomb ice cream. Uh -huh. With actual honeycomb pieces. Like, not the cereal, but the honey. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wrong oh, animal. God. We got, okay, Miss Belief Field Trip. Yeah, yes, it's so good.
good. I have a question. Yes. Um, so for me, the thing about a good snowball is that ice. Yeah. So name like two or three places that you think have great shaved ice, like the ice. Uh, like you wouldn't even want a flavor. That's, that's how shaved and good the ice is. What are some places ooh. that have some good ice that you you have experienced? I would say I'm. Oh, Los Um. Oh, I'm gonna give it. Oh, I'm gonna give you first. I'm gonna button. Um. I would say. Okay. I'm so sorry. I would say. Um. Rodney's got fire ice. Their ice is fire. consistently good. She loves them, right? Yeah, I really do. Um, and I'm trying to think of who else. Um, oh, Scuba Steve's on the West Bank has really like born. Um, I have my thing in here. Let me give this Have you heard? Um, I, so the, the machine that Hanson's uses. Oh, Hanson's. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's apparently. Yeah. Um, was made by like uh, was made by like General Motors or something, somebody really big, and the, the machine is discontinued. So it's only just like a handful of machines left in the world um, because because they became so hard to like uh, repair the pieces. Yeah. So uh, they. Hanson's thing is that the shaved ice comes from this, like it's like an ice cannon or something like that. It's crazy. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to think. There was when I was pregnant, I was just obsessed. So I used to just go get ice. Oh, Lulu's in uh, Metairie. They got fire ice. I, Thank you, teacher. I had the idea to do a, a misbelief flavor <laughs> snowball. That would be rolling. Yeah, but I don't know how to make simple. I mean, a, 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 syrup. a, a syrup out of yeah. you know. You can. It's fine. I mean, I don't know how to. I one other thing I want to ask you: What you think about Freezer Street? I've never been. Really? No, I've never been because, and maybe I, I'm wrong, but um, our friend India McDougal. Mm -hmm. So she and this, I'm, I just get angry, and I just also I don't feel like waiting in line. So if I was already angry, I'm not gonna wait in line. Mm -hmm. But India, this is what she said. She said that she went there, and said, "Oh, I wish that y'all would um, take the snowball juice and make ice cream with it." And they said they never, or something like that. And they said they, no, oh, no, she just wanted to make the stuffed snowball. Yeah. But she said she was, they want, they have snowballs there too. And so she said, I wish I would make a stuffed snowball with the freezy wiggles or whatever mm -hmm. it's called. And they said, oh no, we never thought about that. And then she said, like, within days or so, they posted it. Oh, look what we do. You can also get a stuffed snowball or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then she confronted them, not in a mean way, but, you know, just a nice way. She came to them correct. And then they said, oh, we've been doing this forever. And she goes, well, no, you didn't because you were thinking like I was crazy. Uh -huh. So i never been. Okay. But I heard there's a black-owned rolled ice cream place. I just don't know where it is. I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant. I like to watch them do it. They, yeah, like they might have vegan at the um, at whatever uh, the black They do. Place. See, they do. I know Pizza Street has. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And my favorite flavors, and again, it's like flavors with weird names, um, and it's their own flavors. It's the Rock and Rock and Bear Supreme. Oh. Yes, yes. That's, I'm telling you. And stop jocking. Stop jocking. Rock and Bear Supreme. They got this tequila one, uh, yeah. tequila something. I say the weird name is always the best. But continue. So you, good. You're the guru. No, you're right. The Rock and Bear Squeeze is so good, and they got the um, Tropical Sunrise. Yeah, oh. that's that's yeah. It's so good. Yeah. And I also appreciate the fact that if you get Megan's book at the back of the book, you can actually take down what you ordered from each stand and what your thoughts on each snowball was. So if you purchase the book from Megan, you can actually have this feature in your book. I'm so glad that you came up with this concept, yes, Megan. Because it it's a really good concept. It's a great New Orleans thing. Thank you. I think that it deserves to be at uh, the, the snowball stands that you that you reviewed. They should all try to like sell the book. You know, and then also at uh, the airport is a great place. Uh, that's what I want. Every time I go in the airport, I look around. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, Actually, Megan, let's, let's off camera, let's talk about that in the airport. Oh, all right. Good, good, good. Yeah, man. Thank you. That was your laugh. I had something else. I was. It is at Barnes and Noble. Oh, good job. Where else can they get it from? Barnes and Noble. Oh, so all right. So I need. Okay, times is hard. So <laughs> it's three hundred dollars for each box of books for me to buy, so I can sell them. Mm -hmm. So times are hard. Um, so I used to be selling them at the John a lot. Like I'm three. Yeah, I used to sell a whole lot at the John because like people would be drinking, so I'd go to the John and sell Google Books. Um, but the best thing, I mean, I don't get the money. I'll never see the money. Monkey. But if you just want to have the book, 
climb. Monkeys climb. Yeah, um, monkeys yeah they do. Climb. It would be to go to Amazon. <laughs> you know, you already know how Franklin feels. Um, and so, so yeah, so Amazon is really good. Barnes & Noble is good. Um, all, all the local stores have it, though. So Octavia Books. Um, I want to get a community bookstore just because I, I would feel like I made it. You know, because like, that's our bookstore. Tiger. It should be easy. Yeah. A tiger. It's a tiger. Yeah, book talk about everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that I used to think that my favorite was Plum Street. Probably because go, going to Lusha and taking those field trips, those walks mm -hmm. from Tyler Plum Street was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I heard about that in there. Uh -huh, no, I saw sneaking. that. I realized that maybe it's just, is it just the, the gimmick of the, the Chinese takeout Why? box that makes it so good? Yeah, Why and then tigers? another place. Okay, you can count them quietly, okay, pal. Mm -hmm. Um, another you place. Multitasking like that. We <laughs> already know. Another place that has the uh, little Chinese takeout boxes is Snow Wizard, and Snow Wizard is a great place to go. They're on magazine, and like most of the places get their um, syrup from there. Mm, so it's kind of okay. like if you want to try a flavor, you might as well try it there. They have everything. They have the cherimoya, the chai latte, pectoral punch, and everything. You oh, should be paying you for endorsements. You know? mm -hmm. And if yeah, you just buy her books. Buy, buy Megan, buy Megan books. Okay, what it is? I'm, I'm, a, I'm well, follow a, me on Instagram. That's my favorite. Where, where can they follow you on Instagram? Um, Crescent City Snow, and then my regular elephant. Instagram. Okay, be honest, quiet about the elephants. Um, is Megan M E G A N does Nola, um, and then the snowball one is Crescent City Snow. <coughs> Megan, you have a history of writing before this book came out. Yes, I do. And you have some more writing uh, plans to write, uh, publish. Yes. I have, I have a few books that I want to do. Like, one of them is kind of about my mom. Not about my mom, because that's lame. Like, everybody got a mama. Like, okay. But, you know, like, I feel like she has a pretty decent, a pretty interesting story. Mm -hmm. but, but your mama was a Southern War legend. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Thank y'all. Seven, <laughs> seven elephants. Seven elephants. And then I want to write another kid's book, but I don't want to say a lot about it, because, you know, people are... Penguins. 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 girl. No, baby. Cover your mouth. Exactly. Cough on that. Cough on that. <laughs> <laughs> you're wildin'. Okay. <laughs> Megan does Nola yes. on Instagram. Yep, and uh, Crescent City Snow. Crescent City Snow on Instagram. Crescent City Snow also has a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I think that this upcoming uh, snowball season, you should be doing some pop ups and, yeah, and some um, like book signings and just things like that. You, like, you know who did the most fire thing? And I'm just I'm old and forgetful. Hippopotamus. Um, hippopotamus is um, stop jock, and they had me. They let me do my. Um, what you call my release party there, and it was so lit. I remember I sold so many books that I made like a thousand something dollars mm. in my head. I put the rack to my ear when I got home. Money phone from the from the, yeah. the snowball book. I love it, Megan. Um, I'm gonna stop torturing you with the, <laughs> having to go You're having to multitask. No, I feel like I feel like no. They, as long as y'all not you know drove with him, I'm, I'm surprised he dropped no f words. I was doing words, but no. As long as he kept it together, we kept it together, we kept it together. The power of the black woman! Shall we ride? Can we give some claps, uh, Mastermind, some claps one more time for Megan Brady Perry? Thank you! And you're welcome to come back anytime. Anytime, Megan. Anytime. Thank you. 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 You don't want to miss it. He's a beast. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, we're going to take a break. Then I mentioned that the Misbelief Radio Show only plays music by New Orleans artists, mm -hmm. um, local mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. So, uh, send us your radio friendly, radio friendly music. Radio friendly. To dubmisbelief mm -hmm. at gmail.com. And um, we'll put it on a playlist whether I like it or not. You heard me? So, yeah, Master Mind, what you got queued up? Okay, well, I, 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 uh, yeah. So stay tuned to the Radio Show and um, do your best to uh, just, just not get nothing on you. <laughs> not. It was coming to your face. Uh, see, I was like, I was just saying, how many of these doesn't have? Something when you spoke into this one, you're not, you not got the short end of the No, nigga, listen, we've all been around kids. Yeah, no. We was like, and the interview goes on, it is fine. I wish Raheem or, um, or River or somebody was available to us to babysit them. I had a good time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. I had a good time. So I had to dump all my stuff on the No. Oh, y'all want some of the Vietnamese meat? <laughs> 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 you just offering Vietnamese meat. Yeah. <laughs>
Is that what that is? Yeah, from the tent. It's a the, the little there. He said, "What it tastes like?" Well, I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes good. It's like garlicky and like so. It's the every year for tet they do it. It's like beef and garlic. You just bite into it. Yeah, yeah. You just, it's kind of like a pate almost, but they cook it somehow. Does it have know. cheese so, on it or anything? No, no cheese, no dairy. No, I love I'm, I'm already. Oh, no cheese. Hello, I got you. Thank, Thank you, Franklin. Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "You like to say it was lit." That was Liddy. That was Liddy. That was Liddy. Franklin. 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 Dude. Franklin. Franklin. Wait. Wait. Okay. I don't know if your mama asked you. Do you ask him? Wait, what do you want? Yeah, do he still say it? I think he still does. I got to show you a picture. He didn't mean to do... There was a thing he did today what at does? the park. He didn't this mean to do it. But his hands did the thing. We're going to go into that park. Whoa, okay. So Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. We all eating? The picky eaters over here are trying something. I'm not a picky eater at all, actually. I am uh, a picky eater. I'm not look at your friend. Anybody who eats chitlins cannot yeah. say that they're a picky eater. I know. Yeah. 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 It's me. Yeah. So it's making me continue to eat it because I'm a carnivore like that. I don't know if I would buy it. But I'm not mad at it at all. Is it raw? Wait, wait, wait. Is it beef jerky? Franklin, beef jerky? Uncle Leaky asked no, you something. No. Uncle Leaky asked you something. What's this called again, Megan? I don't remember because I don't Tet know. Tet yeah, it's Tet 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 it don't taste raw. I mean, it's what definitely seasoned. Yeah, you're right. You're would y'all you right. eat that? Let us know. Would, would you eat it? It's, uh, would you eat Ted meat? What it tastes like? <laughs> I can't really what? describe it. I can't call it. I, can't can't call it. Nigga, is it I feel like I'm eating flesh. This could be human flesh no, right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 Maybe it's been cured. Yeah, it's hard. It's like they're special for Ted meat. It's their special like Ted thing. It's good. Oh, yeah. And I forget the name of it because I don't see you being the meats. But every year for Ted, it's like a special thing. Come on, eat. Okay, buddy. Ted me. He's like, come on, Can mommy. you describe it right here, glass me? We wish you'd try to figure it out. I don't know. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. That was interesting. Have a look. This is it. You think it's fishy? Thank you for coming. It was well seasoned, though. Yeah, it's well seasoned. Yeah, it's like it's just a weird... Texture, it's not like a, it's not a texture oh, I'm used to buying into, but it wasn't bad. It kind of tastes like fish. You think but so? But if you mix it fish with a fish ground texture. beef. But you know what? They probably put fish oil on it because a lot like. of Vietnamese. Franklin, where are you going, boy? Come on, mommy. Okay. <laughs> Franklin, so can you say don't get none on you? <laughs> don't get him on me. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> Franklin, say love you, TD Shoe. And what else? <laughs> You're welcome. Give TD Shoe a hug. Can I have a hug? Are you guys trying to get snacks? Yes. I got my own. I already have some. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Megan, whatever you have coming up that you want to come talk about, you are more than welcome. How you doing? You are more than welcome. Franklin. What? Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. It's okay. It's okay. He ran into me, man. What up? Whoopsie. Oh. More than all other kids. Just wanted to say that. Oh, Megan, what are you paying for this book? Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. I get a high five? Oh, I get a big one. Thank you. That's a big one. Franklin, thank you so much for coming to see us. You're welcome. So what? Let me show you something. Yeah, you might got to show me something. Yeah, anything. Raheem Glassby has an awful guitar etiquette. He stole my purple pick right there. That is mine. I did not steal his pick. I did not steal his pick. First of all, First of all, Finger first lip. of all, like he has Jamaica. about a hundred of these things lying around. It doesn't matter. So me taking one doesn't mean shit. It's and the this principle is of this shit. Good. It is pretty good though. It's if you're good. just tuning in, is it good? Raheem is eating yep. a human flesh. <laughs> no, it's Vietnamese meat. Yeah, it's a it's a tet, tet snack. Tet meat. Okay. Ordained by bats ass tet meat. <laughs> and this is a wonderful cake made baked by Geneva Joy. Comedian extraordinaire, it's just banana cake. Yeah. It is so good. Yeah. You the shit, Geneva. Gotta be, because you got fingers like in kindergarten. <laughs> it's like the, I'm, I'm me check the finger work. The Franklin, check Franklin the finger work. It's gotta be good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is actually good, guys.
I wouldn't eat it every day. Right. I wouldn't eat it every day. And nothing to eat a lot of, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's good if they sell it like that. I just ate uh, a peanut butter and jelly tortilla to get the flavor of Ted meat out of my mouth. Who you with? Jimmy Tortilla. Yeah. What is going on today, y'all? I don't know. Y'all got exotic <laughs> foods happening here today. <laughs> <laughs> this is the day Jess should be here to try this stuff out, huh? Right. No fat girl, no look. No fat girl, no look. All the fat shit. What's she doing? She don't set somewhere, too? She don't set somewhere, too. Getting this work. Work, 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 work. That's the work dance right there. Shout out to T the Dane. What's the name of my joint? Yeah. Uh, TV and Film Academy. Oh, I never seen him dance. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think Frank was coming in on y'all. Come on, Franklin. Hey. Franklin, you gonna come back? He said, no, they ain't got it. Franklin, come on, Franklin. They ain't got it. We're <laughs> right, y'all. Come out to see The Wiz, March 9th through the 25th. Yes. Come and see The Wiz. You'll see somebody you know. <laughs> I'm playing the Wiz, that's right. All right. That's right. Are there any other possible familiar faces for the people to be Absolutely. enthused about? You, uh, come see Dominique, yes. Karis, Destiny, Whitney Mixon is in it. Well, I thought you were about to say Whitney Houston. I said, what? How y'all did that? <laughs> no. I wish we'd have Miss Cindy Jack is in it from... Um, the misbelief. Yeah. You guys seen her a couple of times. Um, there's so many, so many people, isn't it? So is DC many. Paul hosting or not? Uh, no. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. Purple Purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Uh -oh. Purple rain. <laughs> Musical selection by Oshun. Purple rain. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. What well, we here? Who has a lighter? Oh wait! I got the ring. <laughs> evidence. Evidence. <laughs> the face. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. My bad. Take over real quick. So, this guy here, River Smith. What's up, everybody? Where are you lost? Wait, you didn't flip? He just cut his hair off. No, he didn't. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, I'll take it, but I'm just going to get some new hair. From this angle. From this angle. That's not me. Talk What's up, people? My name is River. I can't see the comments. This is Rollins East. Oh, River! You from the East? I'm from the East. Like you want to raise me? What that mean? I am too. Oh. Um, I'm a comedian. I like long walks in the park. Oh, that ain't never gonna about you right now. Yeah, and it's wet. Oh, you're wet. Oh, you're wet. We're getting ready for the performance, aren't we? Oh. Oh. Oh, call Raheem. 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 He. Put the damn down. This is we're back. Welcome back to the Misbelief Radio Show, you guys. Uh, you live, listening live on WDOK AM 1230 on one of our many other platforms. By the way, I'm DC Paul, the millennial Arsenio, <coughs> Slim Waist, Baby Face, Deep Voice, and the number one choice for comedy, hosting, and whatever else I, I make up along the way. Uh, <laughs> 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 Who's this to the right side? Hi, everyone. It's me, the one and only, the graceful madam. Oh, Don't know about a kid who's into the left hand. <laughs> it's that actor guy, the handsome Robert Thompson, Mr. Bats. It's not going. It's not going. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're talking. Uh -huh. Give it to us again. What's your name? It's that actor guy, the handsome Robert Thompson. Don't try to put the, the, the deeper than. Voice deeper than Dow looking at. He said voice deeper. That's <laughs> 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 to his left side. Yo, this is uh, Malik. I do tours, I give photos. And I'll wait my turn. <laughs> 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 oh, another one. Who's that in the booth? 
Oh, man. Wakanda forever! Like, I feel like if you were to DJ Wakanda, you got to play the electric slide at least four times every night. Um, you got to also play that if you bug. But Mastermind, um, I think that would be tight if he do like a DJ Wakanda set. That's, that's a great idea. Come on. That's a great idea. We do a, a Wakanda DJ set. Uh, by the way, man, what was that last song we just played? You did two Ayo Timmy songs in a row? Okay, cool, man. That's what's up. Because the Miserable League Radio Show only plays music by local artists. The first one was called what? And the second one was Superman? Dope. Dope. Shout out to Ayo Timmy, man. Uh... So speaking of local artists here in New Orleans, we got one of our favorites, a good friend of the Misbelief Radio Show. You guys make some noise for the great Raheem Glaspie. Yeah! Uh, yeah. Oh my God, guys. You stop, stop. Did you stop? <laughs> 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 Raheem, you've been here before. Oh, yeah. So I ain't got to ask you if you know what a Misbelief is. Yeah. You know I know what it is. Um, and, and so let's just talk about what you got uh, upcoming since the last time you've been here, man. Like, I, I say it every time I play a song on the radio that uh, you got Jazz Fest. I do. What um, date is that? April 29th, my good people. I'm on the first Sunday, you hear me? And what, uh, what stage that is? Uh, Congo Square stage. Congo yeah. Square stage on the first Sunday. Yes. That's so dope, man. Yes, Congratulations. Yes. To Thank you. you. Thank um, you. And it was up in the more karaoke. Okay, so... Um, it's supposed to come out at the end of the month. <laughs> no, come on now. Give me some give me some sure. Um, I'm at this moment, at this current moment, I'm not really um sure because I'm in the whiz. Go oh, true that right now. So I have a stage play going on, which is it takes up a lot of your time. Yeah, as you all know, you're actors, you know what I'm saying? DC, you're an actor, Mark, you're an actor. So you understand like how much time it takes up. So I'm trying to get that out of the way, but I would uh, my hope is for it to come out next Wednesday, because that's the last day of this month. Next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. You better hold your tongue, because yeah, today yeah. is Daddy DC Day. And DC said everybody, you know, and everybody combo oh today. Oh, God. Yeah. So, Daddy, <laughs> listen, Daddy DC and Billy. So. I said, I said it, it is a hope of mine that it comes out next Wednesday. I'm going to call you Tuesday night. I would like it to come out next Wednesday, but if it doesn't, it'll be out at least by March the 9th, which is the opening day for The Wiz. Okay, okay. All right. nice, nice. Cool. 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 So, let's talk about The Wiz. Where yes. is that playing at? Um, it is playing at Daryl Gatto Community Theater, um, uh, a community a college, mm. and uh, Tim Baker's Theater. Okay. Um, it is going to be phenomenal, guys. The voices in this show, uh, like, oh my God. Like, you, you have to come see it. Who got playing Dorothy? Uh, Miss Karis. I love me some Karis Miles. Uh, yes. I her. That girl got a yes. Yes. Who, who else we got in that thing? Um, we have Destiny, Miss, uh, Destiny Smith. She playing we Glenn have uh, Kathleen Moore. Uh, we have Whitney Mixon. <laughs> what up, Whitney? What is Whitney playing? We love Whitney Mixon. Whitney is playing uh, Evil Lean, so really? you oh, really gotta come oh, hear her slay a, a no more bad girl, news. Yes. yes. Oh, don't worry about it. She is handling her business. Baby. I believe it. Come believe and see her Whitney. sing that no more bad news. Okay. Who else you got? Um, we have Miss Kathleen Moore. She is playing uh, Ada Pearl. Um, oh my God, we have who playing the flying monkeys? Well, in I our show, they're not called the Flying Monkeys. They're called the Wicked Warriors. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay tell H&M. Yeah, we know. The we, coolest Wicked Warrior in the show. We, 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 ain't, we ain't monkeys around yet. No? We warriors. Okay. Wakanda forever. What, is <laughs> <laughs> what, else, um, what else can we expect that would be different in this production besides changing that character name? Because that's, um, that's pretty, it's pretty different. Let's see. I, Really nothing. But really. are they monkey faced or are they just regular people now? They're, <laughs> they're wicked warriors. They're wicked warriors. So they don't have any monkey attributes. They don't at all. have tails. No, they're wicked warriors. They're warriors. Oh, they ain't eating bananas and stuff. So they look like Wakandans or something for real. Like, what would they look like? Are they throwing their uh, we, I haven't face. seen their costume yet. As a matter of fact, my costume is awesome. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> 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 that for a second? <laughs> my costume is really good, guys. I'm wearing every shade of green. When Ooh. I tell you, like, every shade. You got to be seen in green. Right. Hello. <laughs> so, um, you know. But this ain't but, your first time playing this part. No, it isn't. It is. This is actually my second time playing this part. Um, which 
I played this part a couple of years ago with the lovely India Mac. Mm -hmm. um, two India Mac drops on two, this right? right. Two. <laughs> the also, lovely. Joseph Pons was in that thing. Yes, playing the lion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. So, it, I guess, so how different is this Wiz character than the, the, I mean, I'm sure the costume and, of course, the scenery and the, yeah. and the rest of the cast is going to be different. But do you bring anything different to, to, to this instance of playing the Wiz? Um, I'm older, so okay. uh, I have I have a different understanding for him than mm -hmm. I did when I was, what, I was 19 when I played him the first time? So, I, you know, I didn't... I, I didn't know what I was... I was just like, whatever, let's play the Wiz, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, it, I'm, you know, I'm older, so I guess... Now here's the Experience. thing that I've, I've seen. I've seen the Wiz in a whole bunch of places. A lot of people don't uh, don't stay true to the script in that they make the Yellow Brick Road people, mm. right? Because in what? the script, yeah, in the script, they're, they're, in the Wiz script, yeah. the people are supposed to play the, the, the Yellow Brick Road. Mm -hmm. They're wearing all yellow. They even have lines every now and then. Yeah, that's that's not happening. So you guys, <laughs> I've only seen it. In fact, I saw one time that Diller, uh, Chase Kamada played um, Dorothy and the, the Wiz, they were actually people, it was, Dorothy went back to Africa, and it was like, when she went to Oz, it was all like, people wearing like, African print and like, Kente cloth and stuff, it was dope, and even like, the, the guys who were playing the Yellow Brick Road, they were like, all like, warriors shirtless with the spears and stuff, it was very dope, it was like, one of the few times I've seen somebody actually add that part to the script. Um, yeah, no, that's not in our show. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you, you can take, you can take regular, liberties. You know, yellow big road. Yeah. That's lying on the ground. Okay. Anybody else got something? Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, that is so easy. Uh, my favorite song is If You Believe. Really? Mm, yep, that is my favorite song. Okay. Um, it, it, I, 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 I think it's more so of what it's saying, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in the song, that, which makes it my favorite. It just touches me in a really nice manner. That's wow. what's up. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Well, um, I'm ready to hear you sing some live, man. If you're watching my Facebook live video, do share it oh, yeah. because Raheem Gillespie um, is about to tear down. And then the legendary icon, Chikondria Sibley, mm. yeah. walked up in the studio. You She's going to talk to you on Facebook Live, too. But do stay tuned. We're going to play a song by Raheem Gillespie if you listen to the radio. But if you're watching us, check this out. It's about to be real, real dope. Sure. Um, so uh, get you a beer, mm -hmm. wrap it around your neck, mm -hmm. and don't get nothing on you. Yeah. Shout out to River. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Brian, Miss Dana said she needs some information from you. Miss Dana? Yes. I'll be there. Good job, guys. Good job. Hey, Icon. Where is this? Come on, guys. Go like this. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Did I get it? Yeah, you got it. I was a kid. Yeah, got... It was good. It was real. It tastes like banana. I don't like banana cake. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on, guys. We're we getting, we getting an acoustic, angry Lauren Hill version of uh, Rocky Lapper. <laughs> and go. You look good. You look good. Where are you coming from, Fountain? Everybody just putting this on shit. You're back. I think I All right. Alright. Here it is, y'all. I would I don't know what you're gonna sing, but it's gonna be dope. Yeah, the great right hand class. Um I'm a sofa rock singer, so I'm gonna do a rock song because hey. that's what I'm feeling like anyway. Um Yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's sit on the edge of the chair. <laughs> Me. Mm -hmm. 
Walk right up and bite me. Grab a hold of me and fight me. Leave me dying on the ground. I want love to split my mouth wide open and cover up my ears. Never let me hear a sound. I want love to forget that you have offended me. Oh, how you have defended me when everybody told me. Underscore the great okay. last week. Uh huh. Raheem Glassby, man. Oh, Check him out at Jazz Fest. First Sunday to come to first stage, man. I love to do so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank y'all. That was fun. I don't know anybody watching it right now, but look, you can catch us on YouTube later on. Oh, I mean, on Facebook, but just believe me. You want to go back and rewind to that part of this shit. Yeah, you don't have to wear my Wakanda. They all wore it last week. Yo, the great Kai, you know what I'm saying? Letcher extraordinaire, you know, um, Caribbean Bell Jr. Oh, yeah. I received yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I received it. Everybody like Mama Carol when I grow up. I received that. Later tonight yeah. at uh, the CBJ. Oh, like yeah. Oh, yeah. I just left they got that thing looking real sexy over at the Crescent City Boxing Gym off the ground. Posted by the millennial Take Arsenio. Take him down. Posted by the millennial Arsenio. Take him down. Hey, who is DC Pop? <laughs> Take him down with a tarot down. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm not looking over. He's 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 Rima, what's going on? You have the people with lines. Is it the people? Yeah. You want to talk to the people for a little bit? Hi, people. It's me, Oshun. The grateful presence. <laughs> what the fuck is Roland Malik in this bitch? It's been he just scared the shit out of me. I didn't know what that was. Bitch. Like, <laughs> right. I was like, what the hell? Is it a knife? You know what? I just bought this as a whim, and I just don't know what the I'm hell. I'm about to say you're a little behind on the eight ball. Right? <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what people saw this. So you just spinning around and what you looking like? Is your nerves that bad? Yeah. I have the cube now. You with the buttons yeah. and it helps though. It helps. Like, oh my god! Like, I just walk around. God! Oh my god! See, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave you on the frame thinking, knock my head. You almost lost that eye? Almost lost that eye. I think moving around the thing, I made, what, what's up? I don't know if I should throw it over my bad shot, come over on this side, I just feel. I feel torn. Look a string to it so you could throw it and then just yank it back. Are you ready? Is your live? Well, come back over here. Come back over here, Raheem. It's going in. Come on, Chico. It's in the trash. Raheem said, Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm over. Mess me up. Who said Taco Tico? I remember Taco Tico. You old if you know about Taco Tico. We used to prank call him. I remember Taco Tico. Taco Tico used to be good. This said something else. This said Taco Chico. Oh. El Chapo. Never was. What's that in the rivers? I want what up? You, damn you, Raheem. <laughs> damn you, <laughs> What did I do? The song is now stuck in my head. 
and I'm gonna be stuck in it. Oh my God. That growl, that 1990s alternative rock battle <laughs> growl in your voice. It's amazing. And for my ear, it's very attractive. Like, that's one of my favorite genres of music. Oh, that's so, so when cool. I hear you sing it, it brings me to it. Like, I have to hear it. 